Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 144, part 4. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Tricks 1303145. Hey, in this Magic Trick, we want to see how to do standard deviation if, right? So we know there's functions like sum if and count if, but how in the world do you do standard deviation if? Well, we can use an array formula or we can use a pivot table. I'm going to click in this cell right here and do an array formula. STDEV. This is. Uh, notice what happened there. It did um, uh, auto complete. So I'm going to try it again. Equals STDEV. Tab. And uh, then we need to do some ifs in here because we have two conditions. We have fam, sales rep, and toy. So you can see here I have sorted these, but <coughs> fam, toys, we just need to figure out the standard deviation. It's probably pretty big there because they have a $2 cell to a 78. Standard deviation of the population, what does that tell what tells us? It tells us the spread of the data. Obviously, if there's a huge range in data values, uh, it it's going to be big. Standard deviation also tells you how good your average is, right? The smaller the standard deviation, the more your mean is representative of the data. The bigger it is, the less it represents the data. It's the more it's the, the larger the standard deviation, the more the spread. All right, let's do our two condition standard deviation if and we're going to say this whole range right here is equal to fam and then we have to do comma and a second if. This whole range right here is equal to toy. If that's true, then what do we want? These ranges right here. Now, uh, in um, trick 145 part 2, I showed you why this array formula works, but some of the other ways you can construct array formulas will not work. Now I'm going to control shift enter and there it is standard deviation for that range of values that's huge. <laughs> now let's do a pivot table I'm going to click in one cell somewhere and in 2007 it's insert pivot table pivot table in 2003 you go to the data menu pivot table in 2000 and 7 there's one step pivot table it combined it all. There's the range. I'm going to say as a new sheet, click OK. In 2003, there's three steps. The range, then uh, uh, what do you want in the first step, then where the range is, and then the final step is a new worksheet. I'm going to click OK. Now, I have my pivot table set up to drag and drop like earlier versions. If you don't like this, you can right click, pivot table options, and then under display, you can click classic pivot table. Uncheck it, and then it does that. I'm going to put it back because uh, I'll show you how to do it in both versions. So this is a standard deviation if. Sales rep, in 2003, you have to drag to the row, right? So there it is. And you can see that little icon with the blue row label. Boop. I'm going to click and drag this up here to get rid of it. And in 2007, you, have, you drag it down here. Uh, products. We could drag to the column area, and you see that blue at the top says it's column area, and drop it. That's 2003. In 2007, you click and drag here. It's a little bit uh, easier to, to drag and drop here because as some of us who have used pivot tables know, sometimes you can drag it, drag it into the right area. But actually, once you get used to it, it's fine. Now we drag this either into the drop data area for 2003. Or you drag it down to the values. Notice it's easy to, to get rid of values by just dragging them back there. Now we need to change the function here because it says sum. I'm gonna, you can double click this and it opens up value field settings. Or you can right click value field settings. And we change the function to uh, standard deviation. Uh, there's P here for population. We have a sample, so then you click OK. Sure enough, we got a bunch of divide by zero because there aren't any, but there's this one value out here that does. All right, um, so that's two ways, and I'm actually going to double click this and call this uh, pivot table STDEV. Now, uh, what, what if you didn't want to display these as error? I better hit enter down there. Right click, uh, f pivot table options, and there's a way to tell it what to display. Uh, where to display zeros. Boom.
Uh, I'm looking for error. Oh, there it is, right there. Error values. And then we're going to show a. Uh, so under layout and format, uh, for error value, show zero. And then click OK. So there you go. There's a standard deviation with the pivot table and with this array formula. All right, we'll see you next trick.